to review. Worry is a type of repetitive circular thinking. Anxiety is an uncomfortable feeling of fear or dread. Stress is a physical response that prepares you to meet challenges. And so it's interesting to look at, this is a sort of a somewhat dated model of the brain. It's called the triune brain. Um, but, you know, it's good enough for government work. Uh, we can work with this model, okay? This is that there is what's called the cortical brain or the neocortex, the big gray matter, wrinkled, big brain that we're so proud of that allows us to speak and add and calculate and reason and so on and so forth and imagine and do all these things that, again, as far as we know, no other creature on Earth does. And that is really the most adaptive thing, you know, has helped us survive and dominate. Lower down, limbic system, Midbrain, okay. The basic brain, we call it the reptilian brain. That's the brain we share with lizards, you know, and reptiles and amphibians. That's the oldest part of the brain. That part of the brain basically concerned with survival. It basically sorts things into, you know, two or three categories. You know, can I eat? Can I eat this? Can it eat me? Can I mate with it? That's basically what it's concerned with, okay. <laughs> It sorts down all the information that you receive into those three things, okay? And, and it acts like that. It acts reflexively and instantaneously, just like if you come across a lizard, you know, on the path and you make a move towards it, it's gone like that. It doesn't go inside. It doesn't do a Woody Allen thing. You know, well, should I move? Should I not move? Would it be better for me to, is this dangerous? Is it not dangerous? How dangerous is it? It doesn't do any of it. It's just gone. Okay, there's any indication that there's a threat, it sets off this stress response and it's gone. The thing is, this developed evolutionarily from the bottom up. Okay, this was, this part of the brain developed first. And then as animals developed, the limbic system pretty much developed in mammals, in other, in warm, furry creatures who characteristically have social relationships and where and for mammals for most mammals not all mammals social relationships like pri like prides of lions and packs of wolves and families of people and things like that have adaptive value we do better when we're connected to groups we have more strength we have more problem solving ability we have emotional support we are social creatures and our social positions mean a lot to us and all that emotional processing happens mostly in this limbic system. And then on top of it, the big, smart, intellectual brain. Every layer added new possibilities and new complexity to our ability to understand our world and to navigate our world. And part of the problem when we look at this whole issue is that the new guy is very entranced with himself, okay? The thinking brain thinks that nothing was important before he came along. And I say he kind of deliberately, it could be she too, but it's a, it's a kind of, it's not that there, are, you know, that there are tremendously bright and intellectual women, but it's kind of thinking, analysis, logic, um, that kind of thinking on a yin-yang scale, we typically characterize as a kind of masculine thinking, not that it doesn't belong to women too, whereas the feeling, the intuitive, tends to be that more kind of receptive, softer, has its own logic, but it's not the same as the logic of mathematics and science, okay?